Hey guys, it's Jen from Illustrator How. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to show you different ways to create 3D tags in Adobe Illustrator. It's going to be a super fun video, so if that sounds interesting to you, please keep watching this video. Okay guys, so let me show you three ways to make 3D tags in Adobe Illustrator. We will be using only two of the tools, which will be the Blend tool and the 3D effects. So let's get started with the blend tool. Anyways, you should have your text ready. So if you don't know how to add text yet, um, I do have a video tutorial showing you how to quickly add text to Adobe Illustrator. Since I already have my text ready, so I'm just going to select the text and I'm going to show you how to create a fading text effect, which is kind of 3D. Okay, so yeah. Let's go ahead and select the text and choose the eyedropper tool. If you don't know how to use the eyedropper tool, I do have a tutorial as well. And uh, you can find a link in the description below. So select the eyedropper tool. And I already have the color. I already chose the color I want my text to be. So usually I like the text in the front to be a lighter color. So I'm going to select this lighter pinkish nude color and go back to the selection tool. I'm going to copy command C or you can go to um, edit, copy, and then I'm going to place the font in place, or you can simply just use uh, um, the keyboard shortcut, shift, command, and V. Since they are the same color, you are not going to see the difference. So go ahead and um, select the one in the front, make it a little bit smaller, and you can place it in the middle. If you want to place it exactly in the middle, you can use a, a line panel, which you can find under the properties panel. Horizontal align center, and you can choose a different color. And usually the smaller one is, um, it should be arranged the back so then you can see the fading effect. So go ahead and go back to the selection tool using the shortcut V. Select the smaller text and then right click arrange and uh, send to back. Usually I like to use a keyboard shortcut shift command and the left bracket key since it's really much faster. All right, so now you have uh, both text ready. Simply select both, create a text outline, hold shift, command, and O. Or you can select both, right click, and choose create outlines. Okay, now that you have uh, both text outlined and uh, with the color selected, go ahead and select both, go to object, blend and make. Since I already have the blend option preset, you can see it already create kind of a 3D effect. However, I'm going to show you how to do that from scratch. So after selecting the blend option, if your text doesn't look like this, you can go back to object blend and choose blend options. And then make sure that you choose specify steps. And here you can input, well, I already inputted 50, so it looked like a pretty smooth transition of the color. So if you want to make it even a little bit more, you can increase the number or decrease the number. 30, it will look something like this. And if you want to adjust a little bit the shadow area, you can go ahead and double click to enter the isolation mode and then select the one in the back and you can make it even smaller, something like that. Or you can even move the direction of, let's say, the 3D shadow. So it's really up to you. And if you want to add a background to make it a little bit more obvious, you can go ahead and change a background color and use a keyboard shortcut shift command and the left bracket to send it back. So yeah, this is kind of a 3D-ish text. And if you feel like the color is too bland or if you want to add a little bit of outline to make it a little bit more obvious, you can double click on the text, select the top text and you can make a copy and then again, uh, paste it on top, command V and then you can choose another color or a color that's a little bit um, similar to that or you can choose white to see how it looks. Something like that if you like. Or you can choose a color that's a little bit more similar to the one that um, you make the copy of. So you can make it a little bit lighter and that's it. I think that would look nicer. And then once you are ready, simply double click outside of the text area to get out of the isolation mode. Then I do have another really cool text effect that you can make using the blend tool as well. 
for example, if you have like handwritten text, since I don't have my graphic tablet connected with me right now, uh, I'm just going to use the brush tool to draw a random text here um, to show you an example. So I'm going to write June. No worries, if you are updated to the latest version of Adobe Illustrator, there is a magic tool that can help me or help you right now solve this problem of this kind of horrible handwriting that I have. Sorry. Yeah, if that's your case as well, you can simply select the text and go to object. And here's the magic. Go to path and choose smooth. Really love this tool. And oh, let me drag this here so you can see it clearer. So go ahead and um, drag the slider. Okay, that's fine. Not so bad, right? Okay. So in this case, um, you can use the blend tool as well. So I'm going to use the same color. I'm going to use these two color. So I'm going to select these two color right here. Maybe make them a circle. Let me just remove this part for now. So then um, let's totally work on this. Select both and I'm going to blend them. Yeah, so I get something like this. And now I'm going to select both, go to object, blend and replace spine. As you can see, I haven't set up the blend option, so it looks something like that. That's really funny. I'm going to go back to object, blend and blend options. It was set to smooth color, so now I'm going to choose specify steps so that I can choose the number of steps. In this case, I'm going to put it to 400 and see how it looks. Okay, it looks pretty smooth. So I'm going to click OK. All right, since the color is so blended, it doesn't show such a strong 3D text effect. I would say, however, if you ch change to maybe like a strong contract color, it will show like a stronger text effect. Let me just show you a quick example again. Let's say that I have these three colors, then I'm going to blend them again. Yeah, I know it doesn't look amazing here. However, you will see what happens now. Select both, go to object and replace spine. Look at that. It's kind of like a 3D-ish text effect if you want to zoom in to see. And yeah, if you want to add a drop shadow or anything, go ahead and go to effect, stylize and add the drop shadow. So if this is not the 3D effects that you're looking for, let's go to the actual 3D effects in Adobe Illustrator. All right, same thing. Let's just create a text outline for now. I'm going to try this pink right now. And then, okay, let's go to the classic 3D effects. So go ahead and go to effect, select the text, go to effect, 3D and materials. The extrude and bevel is the traditional 3D text effect. And obviously you can go ahead and change any of the settings here. You can rotate manually using by rotating this, or you can go to um, just change the settings by uh, moving the sliders. And then obviously you can change the materials of the text. Here are the color that you can change it back to the color you want. A lot of settings to explore and you can adjust lighting. I would say the lighting is one of the most important thing when you create a 3D effect, either 3D text or object. Okay, so let's do something a little bit more to the trend. I'm going to show you how to make 3D bubble text. All right, I'm going to remove this again. Let's go back. In this case, I'm going to change a font that's a little bit more cute, maybe. Yeah, this one looks great. It's not bad. I'm going to outline, create a text outline again. All right, go back to the selection tool. Right now, I'm going to use this pink color again. And let's go to object with the 3D panel open and choose inflate. That is going to create a 3D bubble text for you, kind of. The trick is you need to adjust the lighting again. If you want it to be a little bit more dramatic, move the lighting to the side. I mean, to the edge. 
probably almost the edge of the, the circle here, the lighting circle. And that's pretty much it. And you can choose intensity. Well, I think the default looks pretty fine. Something like that is great. And now here is the magic. You do need to click on the render with ray tracing. And that's it. Look at this cute bubble text. And let me just add a background to it. Look at that. If you make a gradient background, it might look even nicer. If you do want to learn more about how to make 3D text in Adobe Illustrator, I do have a step-by-step -step tutorial where you can read the steps. You can take your time to learn how to use the 3D panel following the step-by-step -step instruction a little bit easier since I'm going a little bit fast in the video. So yeah, if you want to read more about it, you can find the link to my article in the description below. It's much easier than you think, right? Definitely let me know which is your favorite method to create 3D text in Adobe Illustrator. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give me a thumb up as always. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any of my future videos.